Yes, we welcome you inside the Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario for women's OSBA action. It's the TRC Academy Women's Wolfpack versus the Father John versus the Father John Redmond Red, Ho Red Hawks from Etobicoke, Ontario. This is the OSBA game of the week. My name is Mike Carafelidis. I will be on the call for you this evening. And uh, you know, these two teams coming in today are really having some rough years. And we look at the, I will start off with the TRC Women's uh, Wolfpack coming in today at uh, two wins and five losses right now and pretty much in dead last in the Women's East uh, Western uh, Conference. And then in the Women's Eastern Conference, you look at the uh, Father John Redmond Redhawks and they're coming in at two wins and six losses and are struggling as well and they're third to last right now. You know what, in first place in the Women's Eastern Conference, we'll start with that is, of course, you know, the Crestwood, uh, Crestwood Prep and they're just rolling right along at eight no, and in the uh, Women's Western Conference is Niagara Pep Prep rolling right along at 10 wins and no losses. So we'll just get to the starting lineups here for today and we'll start off with the Father John Redmond Redhawks from Etobicoke. It's going to be Victoria Tees, the guard 5'9", 2020, number 7, and as well as Kiara Lutlow, forward 6 feet, 2020, her graduating year, number 19, number 23, Emily Bouchard, guard 5'6", 2021. As well as Michaela Simon Tucker, forward 5'11, 2020, and Sabrina Nero, at forward 6'1, 2020, her so graduating year. As for the TRC Women's Wolfpack, it's going to be Jada Poon. Poon Tip, who's going to be starting a guard 5'11, 2020. Lisa Tess, that, Lisa Tesson is going to be starting a guard 5'10, 2022, as well as Jennifer Demo. A guard 5'9", 2020 is her graduating year. And Maya Raya, guard 5'9", 2020. And Brianna Williams, a forward 6'1", 2021. The head coaches, we start off with Father John Redmond, Red Hawks, of course, Jason Williams. And the head coach of the TRC Academy Women's Wolfpack is Jeremy Kaye. And tonight's, uh, today's referees, got to get used to tonight. It's really this afternoon. These afternoons, referees, Jason Smith. Nick McReady and Ron Jamula. So we're just about ready to go here from the Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario. Of course, it's 10 minute quarters and then the halftime. Uh, a lot of talent here on hand, of course, everybody knows. And uh, a lot of these uh, players that you're going to see today are going to graduate and go on to D1 scholarships or D2 or whatnot. So we're just underway. And it's going to be Letlow starting off with the ball now. Getting off here for Victoria Tees. Tees in the corner. Now Letlow trying to drive baseline with the reverse, and it's good. Good start there for Father John Redman Redhawks. Nice speed from Victoria Tees. And we have a foul already on the floor. And this one's going to go against number seven, Victoria Tees, and that's going to be her first of the game. So nice little momentum. Basket right there for Father John Redmond Redhawks. This has always been a tough place to play the TRC or the Rice Center here in Brantford. Here's a three on the way. That one off the back iron, no good, out of bounds. And a three point attempt there from Maya Raya, and it's going to go back the other way. Nice little crowd on hand here, and here at the Rice Center here in Brantford. Man to man straight, man to man defense here from the Father Redmond. Father John Redmond, Red Hawks. Nice little backdoor feed. And not able to hit was Sabrina Nero. You're, gonna, you're not going to have too many opportunities like that. you got to hit those baskets. Back the other way. Now trying to drive baseline there. Nice job putting your hand straight up. Brianna Williams was, was stuffed right there. Back the other way on the run. Here's Nero off the glass for two. And a quick timeout already by from Jeremy Kaye. Good start from the father, John Redmond Redhawks from Etobicoke. Running the floor there and taking advantage of TRC not getting back. And already it's a 4 nothing lead for the visitors from Etobicoke. Got to chat before the game with a couple good coaches and good guys. And head coach of uh, father, John Redmond Redhawks, Jason Edwards. Uh, Really down to earth, uh, down to earth guy knows his stuff, and of course you got uh, Jeremy Kaye, the head coach of the TRC Women's Wolfpack, who pretty much does it all. He coaches the men, he coaches the women, 
Um, and he may as well just run this place. That might be next on his agenda. Or he might get something else. But you know what? The guy's done a heck of a job since he's been here. And all respect to him. That's for sure. So wherever you're, listening, wherever you're watching from, you're on the OSBA TV game of the week. Again, my name's Mike Carefolitis. Welcome to the Rise Center. It's a 4 nothing lead. Quick lead for the Father John Red... Father John Redmond Redhawks. Here comes a little 2-1, 2-1-1 action. And being able to break it. The other way on the run. Here's Domoa. She has to stop, put it up top. Here's a runner. Good off the glass. Nice basket there for Mariah. Redhawks. Just working around the perimeter. Here's Bouchard, looking for the screen, little two-man game. That pass almost intercepted. Here's Nero, inside with four seconds left to go on the shot clock. And that shot, a wild shot there, back the other way. On the run. Here's Demola, she has the strip. Back here is Bouchard. She has the dribble stop, and then she travels. And it's gonna be TRC ball, and already two subs coming into the game for TRC. It's going to be Jada Poon Tip coming in, as well as Tanisha Clark for the women's Wolfpack. Again, both of these teams, bottom dwellers, looking for some momentum. And here's Jada Poon Tip back the other way, off the glass, no good. And a good, nice hard rebound there from Eli Alexander. Here's Bouchard, trying to kick it out, and off of the knee right there of Michaela Simon Tucker. It's gonna go TRC's way, just underway here. 7.49 left to go here in this first quarter. <laughs> Trying to get it over and breaking that press easily there. There's Tanisha Clark, and the baseline jumper no good. And back the other way, and TRC pretty much getting back after that timeout because it was the Red Hawks that were looking to run and another double, another travel. That's about their third travel of the game so far. So it's going to go TRC's way. But again, it looks like the Red Hawks were looking to run. And then Jeremy Kaye called it quick timeout when it was forward enough for TRC. And right ever since then, these women have gone back. And there's a steal. And then stolen right back. Back the other way. And then <laughs> almost another steal. But now it's CRC controlling and slowing it right down. Here's Araya. Could do it herself. Drops it off there. And here's Tanisha Clark going to the basket. Scoop up and in. Counted in the foul. Wow. Nice drive there. Tanisha Clark. And she'll try to convert the three-point play right here. That's the way you do it. You put your head down and go straight to the basket. And Tanisha Clark, a 5'10". And her graduating year is 2022. Converts the three-point play. And it's TSC up by one. Showing a little mini press. Able to break it with ease by the Red Hawks. Shard getting it inside. Nice little flash cut there. Now turn around, stopping her dribble is Tease. She, now she's going to get double teamed. Kicks it back out. Five left on the shot clock, and it's stolen away by Tesson. This is one player to look out for for the TRC Women's Wolfpack. She plays hard, and she she can score. She can do it all for this team. Trying to play a two-man game. Here's Araya back to the kick it back outside. Inside there, and nice defense by the Red Hawks back the other way, trying to run. Thrown away by Michaela Simon Tucker. Now two subs coming into the game. Aaliyah Alexander coming in, as well as Jaya D'Souza. Number eight. And it's going to be TC TRC ball. Five to four early, two team fouls, both against the Red Hawks. There's Poon Tip, blocked away. Nice block there from Letlow. Now she's gonna dribble back up court. 
She's got point tip all over her. And kicks it back out. Here's Alexander. She has her dribble stopped inside and let low. Did it went off of her foot and out of bounds. It's going to go TRC's way. And they're going to inbound here, and it's a little 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press from the Red Hawks. Got to break that press, and that's the way you do it. Poon tip. Gets it on the baseline. Going to the basket. Easy two right there. Brianna, Brianna Williams. Forward. 6-1 in 2021. Back the other way. Looking to run. And oh, not able to get that easy basket there is Nero. That's a couple that she's missed. And a double dribble. Man, oh, man. So it's going to be Red Hawk ball here. And inbounding is going to be Michaela Simon Tucker. Still the Red Hawks looking to run, and TRC looking to slow it down. TRC, last time I was here, they like to run, they like to run as well. Looking on the perimeter here. Nice pass it. There you go on the outside. Stop and pop for two. Good. Nice play there. Aliyah Alexander. Able to connect. Seven to six. Here's Araya. Going to the basket. One, two up. No. And out of bounds. And it's going to go to the Red Hawks. Down by one. 4.51 left to go here in this first quarter. Here's D'Souza, just getting into the game. Now Nero, trying to get it inside, she does. Let low, little pump off the back iron, no good. And it's gonna be TRC with the rebound. Trying to push, little three on three right here. Mariah, little crossover, right hand, scoop shot, no good. The rebound, out of bounds, and it's gonna go to the Red Hawks. Great idea there from Mariah though. Now, coming into the game for the Wolfpack is going to be Ileana Vukovic. And coming out of the game is going to be Brianna Williams. And as well, coming out is Maya Araya. And into the game is Jennifer Domoa. Start away here, Jason Williams having some little conversation with the referee here. And here comes TRC with a little 2 2 1 action on the press. Broke it easily. Let low. Top of the key. Trying to go to the basket. Nice job by Ooh, Tip and a travel. Hmm. Kind of look like a jump ball to me, but travel's called. So lots of travels. And here comes the press again. The 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Broke it easily. Vukovic. Baseline jumper. No good off the front iron. It was Jada Poon Tip. She could have put that ball on the floor. Maybe gone for the extra... Extra step there for a more high quality shot. Back the other way. Shot no good. Rebound. It's going to be let low. Fighting for it and then she loses it. On the run. Here's Clark. She has it blocked away by D'Souza. Back the other way. Here's let low. Trying to go baseline. Trying to take on two TRC women's players and a jump ball is called. Nice defense there from Poon Tip and Lisa Tesson. So here we go again with the 1-2-1-1. One, 7-6 one, one. early. And that's, then that's the way you beat it, right? That's center court. Vukovic over the basket with the right hand. No good. And again, coming down with a huge rebound there is Kiara Letlow. Dribbling. Doing it all so far for this Red Hawk team. Good salt travels. Wow. Hmm. So back the other way we go. 3.20 left to go here in this first quarter. And Tesson's going to take it in the backcourt. And stolen away. For two. Nice job there. Leah Alexander with the good hands and able to finish. Now well, again, here's Tesson trying to do it herself. Breaks right through the press. And she'll just put it back out. Going to the basket with the right hand. No good. It was Jada Poon tip and a nice rebound there from Alexander. 
Now they're looking to push with D'Souza. There's Letlow inside again, sitting up in her office. Up in the baseline, foul called. Jada Poon tip. And that's gonna be her first. So it'll be two shots here for Kiara Letlow. What a job she's doing on both ends of the floor. Getting rebounds, able to push the ball herself up the floor, and able to finish down low. And playing great defense on the other end. So far, my player of the game. If and she's at the line for two. First one, no good. So one more for Letlow here. Six feet, you know, it's unbelievable. Six feet, 2020. So this is her graduating year. Able to hit. And now coming into the game is going to be Emma Fawcett. And getting a rest there, it looks like it's going to be Letlow with 2.44 left to go here in this first quarter. Here comes the 1 2 1 1. And broken with ease. And going to the basket there. Nice job. Foul called. And Tanisha Clark was going hard there. And she'll go to the line for two. And that is the first team foul against TRC Women's Wolfpack. So two shots here. And one of two. And the rebound controlled by Simon Tucker. And she ate her pass is intercepted. Now TRC slowing it down, looking to go long there. It was Damoa. Poon tip. Moa off of the screen. Here's a three on the way. That one's no good from Ileana Vukovic. Out of bounds, and it's going to go to the Red Hawks. Both teams looking to solidify that corner and looking for a three point shot. But it was more the Red Hawks looking to run in the beginning. And they're still looking to run, but TRC is really getting back now. And playing good defense, straight up, man-to-man -man here. D'Souza. There's a runner on the way. No good off the back iron. Rebound comes from Jaden Putip, and here we go on the run. Here's Araya. Little jab step there by Vukovic, and the foul's gonna be called on the floor. So it'll be no two shots. It won't be two shots, but it'll be the fourth team foul against the Red Hawks. So the next one, and TRC will be in the bonus. And it's going to be TRC inbounding here. With Demoa. It looks like they're working out of a box. One forty-six left to go in this first quarter. Here's a three on the way for Mariah. No good. Strong offensive boards, Demoa. Kick it back out. Rye again, going to the basket. No, nice pass on the baseline. And the jumper's good. Jennifer DeMoa, guard 5'9", in 2020. And a 10-9 lead for TRC. Here's Tucker. Looking for the double team. Nice job there, little curl cut. Underneath, going up, and a block. And as Alexander had it blocked away, here comes TRC back on the run. And he's slowing it down. Here's Damola backing it back out. Out of Maya Araya. Clark, left hand, and gets the friendly roll. 12 to 9. 53 seconds left to go here in this first quarter. And here's the corner again. Nice job at eluding, but the wild shot, but that one comes right down to Michaela Simon Tucker. And she's able to hit off the glass, a 12 to 11 game. Now back the other way, Damoa. And yeah, that's a good call by the referee there. It's going to be a jump ball in the position arrow. It's going to go to Father John Redmond Redhawks. And we have. Four subs coming back into the game for the Red Hawks. And 
as it's going to be. I I don't know if this possession arrow is right. The possession arrow was pointing towards the Red Hawks last. Hmm, okay. Well, it's going to be TRC ball. Kick it out. Here's a three ball on the way, and it's good. Tanisha Clark. Clutch, 15-11. Now they switch the possession arrow. Stolen away to Mola for two. Wow. It's a couple steals for Demola. 17-11. Seven seconds left. Another steal. Demola can't get it to go this time. Nice defense there from Nero. Got a shoot with the point one. No, they won't get it off. And we're at the end of the first quarter. Your score, 17-11 in favor of the TRC Academy Women's Wolfpack. And we're going to take a short break and back with second quarter action. As we welcome welcome you back inside the Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario, the OSBA Game of the Week women's action between the TRC Women's Wolfpack at home and the Father John Redmond Red Hawks. And we're just getting ready for the second quarter. It's 17 to 11 after one for the Women's Wolfpack. And my name is Mike Carafelidis. Well, with the call with my producer, director, technical producer, he does it all, Yoram Kerbal, sitting beside me on my right. So. Glad to bring you all the action here from Brantford, Ontario. <laughs> Red Hawks down by six. Nero. That's a back up top. It's coming into the game now with Tyrell. Tyrell. Drop it off there. Almost a travel. And trying to go with the basket is Ledlow. And good defense there from Little Thomas. Now on the run. And easy two for Oriah. Great defense. That's how you go defense to offense right there. 19-11 for the Wolfpack. Back up top. There's a long two and able to get the roll. That was Jaya D'Souza. Here comes the 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. And oh, I'm just able to keep it in there with Tanisha Clark. And out of bounds. Which way is it going? And it's going the Red Hawks way. Starting to weigh here in the second quarter. From Etobicoke, Ontario. And Father John Redmond, Red Hawks. I believe it's their second or third year in the league, but they're pretty much a new team. Out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Red Hawks. Red Hawks on evil, though. They're trying to get that ball inside, but TRC's playing great defense underneath the rim. And then they got that long shot from the outside last uh, last time around. And there's another long two. It's good. Again, it's Kiara Letlow. And here comes TRC breaking the press easily. And an easy two. Yes, it is. Off the glass. Eliana Vukovic. Guard forward six foot. 2020. Now back the other way. Inside, who else? Ledlow, she can't hit. And now it's the good, nice rebound there from Thomas. And on the run for the easy two is Araya. No, she can't hit it. And the rebound comes down to Tyrell. She's trying to go all the way. Does a good job to kick it out. Here's Nero on the baseline. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Thomas. Pushing it up ahead. Here's Demoa. Little spinorama off the glass for two. Great job there. TRC doing a good job breaking the press. And again, Demora with another steal. And she can't get this one. And it like rattles in and out. 
around the rim. Man, that's got to be... That's got to be Damoa's, when I'm counting, their fourth steal of the game. Unbelievable. I mean, if anybody's watching any D1 schools, that's a girl you want to... That's a girl you want to look at. We'll take a break. As we welcome you back inside the Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario, the OSBA Game of the Week. My name is Mike Carafalitas on the call. My producer, director, technical director, Yoram Kerbel. Beside me, it's the Father John Redmond Redhawks down 23-15 to to the TRC Academy Wolfpack. And we're in the second quarter of play. Coming out of the timeout there from Father John Redmond, and they control the ball. Alexander, the step back. I'll put it in the corner. Here's Gasol. Back up top. They work trying to work it around Bouchard. Here's a three ball on the way. Off the back iron, no good. And a strong offensive rebound from Alexander. Off the glass for two. And that's what you call everybody following your shot. Back the other way. Breaking the press. Coon tip is fouled. Oh. And foul is going to be called there on Letlow. So it'll be two shots for Jada Poon Tip. Now, if I were head coach Jason Edwards, because TRC is breaking their 1 2 1 1 press with ease, as the first one's hit. Now, I'm not no coach. I did coach for a couple years, never again. But if I was coaching, I would, I would back off and maybe try to mix it up a little bit. Because TRC is really breaking the press right now. And there's a steal by Tasson. And that's another thing. And she can't get, get it with the scoop shot. And a nice job to get the rebound there from Vukovic. Tasson. Poon tip for three. Off the back iron. No good. Vukovic's there. Nice position. She's fouled. Man, good position there. Well, Eliana Vukovic and the foul is going to be on Amelie Bouchard. That's going to be two shots here. 7.02 left to go here in this second quarter. Two team fouls against the Father John Redmond Redhawks out of Etobicoke. First one off the back iron, no good. Nice facility here. The Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario. And it's a nine point lead for the Wolfpack. Able to get that one was Bouchard. Bouchard now. Okay, yes, she did. She traveled on the play. Took one step and then two steps, so it's going to be TRC ball. The turnovers right now really killing this Father John Redmond Redhawks team. It's either been double dribbles, travels, or this girl with the ball right here, Demoa, who's had four steals in this game. Tesson. Cross court, nice job to get the poo tip. She's going hard. No, kick out. Vukovic. And nothing but air. And good position there for the rebound. It was Brianna Williams and she's fouled. And she'll go to the line for two. And this foul is gonna be. Looks like it's gonna be on underneath against Letlow. And that's one person. You gotta keep her in the game. I believe that's her second foul, so and she's been one of the bright spots for this Father, Jen, Father John Redmond Redhawks team. 6.31 left to go, 26-17. Make it a 10-point lead. 
Travels the turnover, but TRC doing a good job with their defense, and again, knocked away. And there's Letlow trying to do it herself off the glass, no good. Rebound, Letlow gets it again off the glass. She can't kick for the second time. And a good offensive boards there from Messam, and it's out of bounds. And it's going to be Red Hawks ball. Inbounding is going to be Aaliyah Alexander. And who else? You get it to this girl right here, Kiara Letlow. Bouchard. Messam. Guarded right closely by Tesson. Three seconds left in the shot clock. Step back jumper. Nothing but air. But the rebound comes down to TRC on the run. Here's Demoa. Look at her. Trying to go herself. Nice kick out there. But she no, went off of a Red Hawk player. And it's going to be TRC ball. She is a pure leader. Last game I came here, the Moa didn't have this kind of a game. Nice pass underneath, and a foul called. And it was wide open underneath was Brianna Williams. But a beautiful pass from Demoa. So it'll be two shots again, and here we go with head coach Jason Edwards. He's gonna make four of he's gonna put four subs in the game after this one. And here come the four subs for the Red Hawks. Oh, sorry, not yet. <laughs> and able to hit one, and now here come the four subs for the Red Hawks. And it looks like that's what Jason Edwards is going to do to little offense-defense action. Somebody's got to get hot. It's got to be someone else but Kiara Letlow. There's a kick out, and there's a three ball on the way, and it just grazes the front rim there from Jay of the Souza. And now here they come on the run. Here's Demoa trying a little crossover. She brings it back out. Poon tip. Demoa. So there's Poon tip, excuse me, for three. And she hits the three. TRC really starts starting to take control here at 31 to 17. Back the other way, here's D'Souza. Put on the baseline, Nero going to the basket. Left hand, fouled on the play. Brianna Williams is gonna get that one. And that is their first team foul of the quarter. Oh, two shots here coming for Sabrina Nero. 6-1 forward, 2020's her graduating year. She hits the first. Well, 31 to 18, a lot of catching up to do for Father John Redmond Redhawks. Still lots of game left, and there is a nice offensive board there from Tucker. Inside, foul call, Sabrina Nero. And she'll go back to the line. Last time she's able to hit one of two. But pretty much the story of this game so far has been the steals from Demoa and the ability, as she misses the first, the ability of the TRC women's Wolfpack to push the ball up the floor. Breaking the press and with steals. That's one of two. So 31-19. They're still back in the 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. There's Tesson. Has to turn away, and she gets it to Demoa. Demoa with her head up. Nice job to get it over to Tanisha Clark, who keeps it in, but no, it's stolen away. Nero on the run. Nero going to her left hand. Kicks it back out. And this is Redmond doing a good job controlling the floor with 10 on the shot clock. Three on the way. Then that one goes out the front, front iron. No good from Aaliyah Alexander. And it's going to go out of bounds to the TRC Women's Wolfpack. That would have been a big shot if the Red Hawks were able to hit it. That would have made it a nine-point game. And right now, it's 12. There's Clark. Nice dump inside. And we got a foul call. And this one's going to be on the floor. I believe. No, it's not going to be two shots. That's interesting. He's going up there was Brianna Williams. But regardless, that's the 15 foul. And now that's going to be the bonus. The 15 foul against the against Redmond. And at the line is Brianna Williams in the bonus. 
4.34 left to go here in this second quarter. It's the first. One more to go here. Mm. In and out. And in good position there. Good boards from Simon Tucker. Here they come on the run. Here's Fawcett. She'll pull up. Off the front iron. Can't get it. Nice boards there from Nero. She'll pull it back out. Nero turning. Not, wow, shot. Nothing but air. Nice rebound there from Jada Poon Tip. Here's Tesson on the run. Nice little kick out there. Here's a three ball on the way. Off the front iron. No good from Mariah. And good boards from Alexander. And she wants to push. Put it in the corner. Is that a three on the way? Off the back iron, no good from D'Souza. Rebound Alexander off the glass. And that one's no good. Man, oh man. Red Hawks getting their chances. They're just unable to connect. Here's Araya. Now she pulls it back out. My Araya. Now she drops it off there. Now here is Tesson up top. Going to the basket, left hand, and it's good, and the foul. No, well, offensive foul. Offensive foul. Mm. Interesting. But Redmond will take it. It's gonna be it's gonna be Redmond ball. Possession error going their way. 336. Redmond's gotta get back in this game in a hurry. They are letting TRC control. The outside and the intensity level has been with the women's wolf pack so far in this one. Outside Nero. Trying to fake and go to the basket. Now Bouchard. Souza. Back out now, and here is CD off the no, no good again. You, you got the looks, Redmond. You gotta get you gotta make them. Get a poon tip out of bounds. And this one's going to go back to Redmond. So now there's a chance. I mean, Redmond has had all sorts of chances to come back in this game. They're just unable to hit their shots. Only with 19 points. And it's been open shots. Trying to go baseline there. Nice pass underneath. Nero off the glass. And there you go. 32-21. It's been their all game for the Red Hawks. Let's see if they can get back in this one. Here's Araya. To prove tip. Now here's Tesson. Little shake and big. Fouled on the play. Two shots. And that's one momentum killer right there. Lisa Tesson. She can, uh, she puts her head down and goes straight to the basket and gets two shots. That's one person I'd want to have on my team. She'd be my number one pick. She plays hard all the time, every second she's on that floor. Able to hit the first. So, 12 point lead for the Wolf Pack. Looked like momentum was slightly beginning to shift in favor of the Red Hawks. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice today. This is 34 21. I got the fisherman friend beside me here. And I'll tell you, they are your best friend. So, give her a sore throat. Grab the big pack of cherry. Here's Bouchard. Inside Nero. Looks like they're looking for the three. Bouchard trying to go to the basket and again she travels. That's got to be at least her third or fourth travel of the game. And head coach Jason Edwards can't be happy about that. And he's talking to the referee right now, Ron Jamula. Seeing if it is a travel and here's Vukovic. Trying to go through three. Redmond players unable to do so and here's Redmond with the ball on the run and what do we got now we got a kickball there's a whistle every play whistle this way whistle that way and it's a kickball it's going to be Redmond ball looking on the box and trying to double screen there's Bouchard step back three oh in and out rebound Nero with a good offensive board and she's fouled and she'll go the line for two Sabrina Nero, forward 6-1, and, and this is her last year, 2020. She has been open, wide open underneath. And I think this could be one person. If you put Nero in the game, well, leave Nero in the game, you put Letlow back in there, 
It could be a nice little dynamic duo inside. They're both playing very well. One to two. So the lead is 12th. And the Red Hawks hanging around. Here's Araya. Now Tanisha Clark with the scoop shot. And a wild one, no good. Rebound comes down to the, to the Red Hawks and they push it to Bouchard. Step back three and nothing but air. And here come the Wolfpack. Clark. She's going to pull it back out. Good job by the, the Red Hawks to get back on D. Vukovic. Scoop shot, no good. Rebound underneath, and Thomas can't hit. Oh, man. Now another chance. Here's Bouchard, now going with the left hand, going hard, and good defense there. Maya Araya just saying, uh-uh. And that goes out of bounds. That's going to go to the Red Hawks. And down it's going to be Jaya D'Souza. Get it inside. Here's Nero. Well, good job there. And it's 34 to 24. So it's a 10 point lead. And if you're Redmond, you want to get that lead within 10 going to halftime. Here's Tesson. Tavukovic slapped the wall by Nero. She's doing it all so far. Nero again, wide open as Bouchard. She gets it. And she has to pull it back out. Now here's Nero going to the basket. Look like she was hit on the play. No call. And it's going to go back the other way. Araya. Inside. And Clark controls it. Vukovic. Thomas. No good. Rebound up and in from Tanisha Clark. 33 seconds left to go here in this till halftime. You could get a little two for one here action if you're Father Redmond. Well, three on the way. That's good. Three ball. Jail to Souza and a big basket there. Puts a puts the Red Hawks within nine. And we'll take a timeout with 19.1 seconds left to go till halftime. Five team fouls against the Red Hawks. Four team fouls against the TRC Women's Wolfpack. But what a game. The Red Hawks, really, the down 36 to 27. Once of those turnovers early in the first quarter, the Red Hawks could be easily in front. But uh, both teams have played a hard game so far. So time out here from Jeremy Kaye, a big three-pointer just a, a minute ago. So what do, you, what do you say if you're Jason Williams? You say, keep it up. Let's play some defense underneath. And let's get the ball to Nero and hold on to it. The turnovers are killing us. Get that Jennifer Demoa away from the ball. Keep it away from her because she has about four steals. I think five steals now. Counting with my, yeah, my count. Five steals. And she's playing an unbelievable game on defense. So here we go. Let's see what uh, head coach Jason Edwards has cooked up here. And what head coach Jeremy Kaye has cooked up for the TRC Women's Wolfpack. And it's going to be Araya. And he changes it. It's going to be straight man to man. Now going to the basket, pulling it back out with 13 seconds left to go. Last shot here. Vukovic. Off the glass. No good. Chance here. Here's Littler. Three seconds. You got to shoot. Here's another chance. You got to shoot it. There it is. Oh, off the front iron. No good. From Michaela Simon Tucker. Wow, what a first half. This first quarter kind of started a little slummish and then the second quarter really got exciting and you know what the father john redmond red hawks are back in this game from etobicoke so your score at halftime it's the trc women's academy wolfpack 36 and the father john redmond red hawk red hawks 27 you're watching the osba tv game of the week my name is mike carefully this along with my producer director control artist everything yoram kerbal and we'll be back we're at halftime we'll be back for a third quarter stay with us
As we welcome you back in the Rice Center here in Brantford, Ontario, it's the OSBA TV Game of the Week. And it's women's action between the TRC Women's Wolfpack, Academy Women's Wolfpack, and the Father John Redmond Redhawks. My name is Mike Carafalitas with the call here this evening, along with my producer, director, switcher, everything here, Joram Kerbel. And it's the we're at halftime getting ready for the third quarter and the Wolfpack are up by nine I'll tell you key to the game right now has got to be the turnovers as Jennifer Demoa in my mind for the TRC Women's Academy Wolfpack has five steals I've counted and they've all resulted in points for the Wolfpack. So you take that in effect, nine points and ten points right there. Right away, Nero inside. That's one you gotta get going as she puts up an air ball. Just underway here in the third quarter. Glad you're along with us. Here's Tesson. She'll pull it back out. Nice the job coming off of the screen. Trying to throw that one inside. Got a lucky bounce. It comes right back to her. Ten seconds left to go on the shot clock. Here's Demora. Demora looking to drive now and has it blocked away. Nice defense there from Victoria Simon Tucker. And then she comes up with it, she'll slow it down. Got to get it over, gets it over to Bouchard. Bouchard now, the left hand. Now here's a three ball on the way, and that one's no good from Victoria Tees. Nice offensive board from Nero, she falls down. Bouchard again, lets her fly, and that one's no good. Another offensive board. Tees gets her woman up in the air, and she's unable to hit three chances. On second chance, up third chance opportunities, and unable to hit with the Red Hawks. And here's Demora. Back here to Clark, and they're gonna try to swing it around. Here's Williams. Boom tip. Here's a shot on the way right at the shot clock. Buzzer, Tanisha Clark, no good. They didn't hit the rim. And Jeremy Kaye is upset on the sidelines for the TRC Women's Wolfpack, the head coach. And the timeout is called. So already a quick timeout. And we're just on the way here. 8, 8.36 left to go here in this third quarter. And no points have been scored yet in the first real I mean, three chances to get the ball in the basket for the father, John Redmond Redhawks. And some good offensive rebounding. Looks like they're coming up with some good intensity to start this third quarter. But it's unable to hit their shots. With three chances on the offensive board in their last position. So it's going to be Redhawks ball here. Down by nine. And they're lucky to be down by nine. It could have been a lot worse. They hung around. They're hanging around, hanging around. And here they come out of the timeout. Here's Bouchard. That's it knocked away. Good defense again with great hands from Jennifer DeMola to knock that ball out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Red Hawks. Another sub coming in. Poon Tip's going to come out. And coming into the game is going to be Ileana Vukovic. And Michaela Simon Tucker to Bouchard. Bouchard, now top of the key. Here's Nero driving, and she's fouled. On the play by Brianna Williams. That's her second foul of the game. The first team foul charged to the TRC Women's Wolfpack, and Nero will go to the line for two. It's the first. Got to get her going. You know who hasn't been in the game in a while? It's Kiara Letlow, who is in foul trouble right now. She was having a nice first half. But Jason Royal Edwards, the head coach of the Red Hawks, is demoralized. He is fouled. Mm. Right when you think you have the momentum and you give to this girl. Like I said, Jennifer... Damoa. And she's going to the line for two. I say it again. 
that she hits the first. If you're a D1 coach or D2 coach or university coach watching, watch this girl play here today. She has played dynamite. Great defensively. Great defense. Great offense. And she's got the intensity. What you're looking for. And that's Bouchard. Now it's a 10-point lead. Euro up top. Fouled on the play on the reach in. This one's going to go to Lisa Tesson. And you know what? That's going to be her first foul of the game. Second team foul going to the Wolfpack. Here's Tease up top. Victoria Tease. To Alexander. Nero. Trying to turn around again off the glass. And she's good in this one and cuts the lead to eight. Nice little turn around there to keep her body control and put it off the glass for two. Tomorrow. Little crossover. Off the back iron, no good. Offensive boards, and it's going to come down to Demura. Swings it out, Vukovic. And she, I think she got a piece of the iron, but it's going to come back together with Neil on the rebound. Pushing it up, Alexander. Had her dribble stop. Nice job, defense by TRC. Here's Tassel. There you go, that's how you use the bounce pass. Vukovic able to convert. I love seeing the bounce pass. Not used too much, too often anymore. Going to the basket with the right hand. Scoop shot, no good. It was Victoria Tees. And TRC comes down with a rebound. Up by 10. And Demore calls out a play. Vukovic off the front iron, no good. Rebound. Bouchard's going to get that loose ball and push it up ahead. Here's Simon Tucker. She's going to stop and pop. Nothing but air. Tomoa's right there. And it's coming to the table is Willow Thomas for the TRC Women's Wolfpack. Ready to check in. Tomoa again. Tesson. Step back three. And that one's no good. Nice strong board from Nero. And she's going to push it up the floor herself. And she gets double teamed. Able to push it out there, and here's Bouchard. Alexander fakes the pass inside, looking to drive baseline. Step back, no good. Tomorrow with the rebound, she's on the run. She's got Tesson on her left. Tesson with the beautiful job to get that ball off the bounce pass and put it in for two. Bouchard fakes the three, takes the shot. No good. Rebound comes down to Brianna Williams. And she leaves it for the floor general here, Tesson. Up by 12 are the women's wolf pack. Clark. Nice crossover. Beautiful pass inside for two. Ileana Vukovic with a beautiful pass there from Tanisha Clark. Able to convert and she'll try to go to the line. Or she's going to the line here to try to convert the three-point play. Now here come four subs into the game. Well, it's coming back into the game. We haven't seen this girl in a while. It's going to be Kiara uh, Letlow. Well, she had a nice first quarter. She got herself into foul trouble. Well, she's back into the game now. So at the line is Ileana Vukovic. Can't hit the fur the try can't hit the shot to try to convert the three-point play. Out of bounds. It's going to go to the Red Hawks. From Etobicoke, Ontario. About a 45 foot, about an hour drive from here, maybe an hour and 10 minutes, depending on the traffic. And here's Bouchard. The Souza back in the game. The Souza back up top. Here's a three on the way. That one's no good from Gosal and out of bounds. It's going to go TRC's way. Red Father John Redmond's got to be careful here because TRC's up by 14. Got to start playing some defense. Got to make a run. This is a game of runs. Tomorrow. The one as head coach Jason Edwards got out of the 1-2-1-1 one, 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 as going all the way there is Demoa for two. Going straight man to man, but Demoa. And there's another turnover. Right off the boards for two. 48 to 30. Well, this game slowly turning into a blowout. Bouchard. Let low. Fawcett. 
Hazard dribble stop. Good defense there for Tanisha Clark. Bouchard gets that loose ball inside. Let low. Can't get the run. Nice boards there from Poon Tip. And puts it on the wing. Now here they come on the run. Here's Araya. Trying to push it off of the hands there of Jay D'Souza coming back. And it looks like it's going to be TRC ball. At least it looked like it, but uh, referee Ron Jamula talking with referee Nick McCready. Let's see if they get the call right here. Well, it's going to be it's going to be Father Redmond Ball, and coming back into the game is Messam. So down by 18 are the Red Hawks. Throw ball, nothing but air for Emma Fawcett. And unable to save it there. Yes, she did off of the hands. Nice job there by Letlow. And she was able to put it off the hands of Willow Thomas of TRC. And it's going to be Father John Redmond Redhawks ball. Down by 18. That pass. And she threw it away. Here's Thomas. Here comes the trap. She gets it to Maya Raya. Demora. Maya Raya now. She's going to set things up. Demora gets it on the corner. Here's Poon Tip. And she's unable to hit. Nice. Strong boards there from Kiara Letlow. Trying to push it up ahead. Stolen away. Out of bounds was Maya Araya. Good job to get back, though, from Araya. And it's going to be Red Hawks ball. As the clock is still running for some reason. With four minutes. Now 3.59. Okay. And that's up top. Here's Fawcett. Now to Letlow. Letlow. Try a little couple pump fakes, step back, and no, off the front iron, no good. Fossa right there, gets the bounce. Now the Souza, going to the basket, she can't hit. Nice rebound there from TRC, and they're pushing. Here's Demore, two on one, to Clark for two. 50 to 30. Great defense by the women's Wolf Pack. And that is the story of this game. Fossey, get out, mess him, three-pointer. That one off the back iron, no good. Following her shot off the glass, and she can't get it again. Tamora with the rebound, she wants to run. Here she comes, now behind the back. Kicking it out to Willow Thomas. Maya Raya off her foot, now Thomas with a little cut. That pass is knocked away by Letlow, and she keeps it in, good job. And here come the Red Hawks. Here's Gasol. Has her dribble stopped, and then she turns and gets the roll. 50 to 32. And Julie Gasol, guard, 5'8", 2021, her graduating year. Araya, Clark, Poon Tip. Kick it out to Araya. Poon Tip, setting up for the three. Now going cross court is Clark. She can't hit the three, and the rebound picked up here by the Red Hawks. Nice job by Letlow again. Emma Fawcett knocked away, telegraphed that pass. Here's Clark all the way. Easy two. Back to the 20-point lead. My goodness. Here's Gasol. Inside. Nice pass. Able to get it in there for Kiara Letlow. So back to 18. Minute 50 left to go in the third quarter. Boone tip. Tomoa. Nice little fake. Going to the basket. Right hand. Fouled by Letlow. And it looks like Nero is getting. Sabrina Nero is getting ready to check back in with three other players. And it's going to be two shots here for Jennifer Damoa. Guard 5'9", 2020. So this will be her last year. So here come four subs in for the Red Hawks. It's Sabrina Nero coming back into the game. Leading the charge along with Alexander. Trying to get their offense back. I think that's a good move here from head coach Jason Edwards. Because all the offense pretty much is coming from Sabrina Nero. 19 point lead. Up to 20. 
And here comes Lisa Tesson back into the game. And that's who you want in on defense, that's for sure. Coming out of the game is Demola. Interesting there is Demola. Has been all over the place. This might, just might be a rest for the rest of the third quarter. Here's Nero. Now they've got both of them on the floor. Whitlow gives it away though. Or Letlow, excuse me. On the run. Here's Tesson. And she's going to slow it right down. Nice bounce pass there to Araya. Araya. Cross court. Poo tip. Two steps up. No good. Rebound. Poo tip gets her own rebound. Trying to go up. Smothered. And good defense there from Giasaini. Say nine. As Nero on the run has it blocked away. Way to, go, way to get back there from Maya Araya with exactly a minute left here in this third quarter. And a timeout call here by head coach Jason Edwards. And we're going to take a quick break and be back for the rest of the third quarter. As we welcome you back inside the Rise Center and ready for the rest of the third quarter, the OSBA TV Game of the Week, Women's Action, TRC Women's Wolfpack, and the Father John Redmond Redhawks. TRC up by 20. Going to the basket there and able to hit. Here's Jaya Saini. Here's Vukovic. Kick it out. Araya, three-pointer. And nothing but air. And the rebound comes out the other side. And jump ball possession arrow is going to stay with the TRC Women's Wolfpack. Do the father John Redmond Redhawks have a comeback in them? We will find out. 18 point lead. Lots of time left. Nice pie. Easy basket inside Willow Thomas. I don't know. Some little miscommunication there and the lead is back up to 20. Here's Alexander. Nero, a little flash cut. Now turning as she traveled. Yep, she did. Sabrina Nero, 6'1". 2020 her graduating year and it's going to be TRC ball. Here is Araya. Maya Araya going with the left hand off the glass. Rattel out of the way. Impressive. Eight seconds left to go in the third quarter. One last shot here for Tease inside. Ledlow has it knocked away with 3.4 seconds left to go. And it's going to stay with the Red Hawks. So we'll see if the Red Hawks can get it within 20. It's at halftime. It was the Red Hawks down by nine. And the lead is extended. One last shot here, one last chance. And it comes back out, here's a chance. Is turning a tease, throws it up, no good. And that is going to end the third quarter of play. With your score, the TRC Academy Women's Wolfpack up 58 to 36 over the Father John Redmond Redhawks. We're gonna take a quick break here on the OSBA TV Game of the Week here on YouTube.
do it up. As we're back here for the fourth quarter, and it, it is here in the women's game here on OSBA TV. My name is Mike Carafalitas, along with my producer, director, everything, Yoram Kerbal. And it's the OSBA TV women's action between the TRC Women's Wolfpack and the father, John Redmond Redhawks. And it's Wolfpack up by 22. Is inside, let low, she can't hit, and that's been another story. Rebound, Alexander. She's gonna try off the glass for two. She's had a nice game. She's played hard. Aliyah Alexander, 5'9", 2020. Now here comes the man-to-man -man full court press. Arara can't get the scoop shot to go. Vukovic follows, and she puts it in. Back to 22. 9'26 left to go. Alaya Alexander. Tease, Victoria Tease inside the top of the key. Let low to Tease. She's going to launch and she's not nothing but air. Nero's there for the rebound, jump ball, and it's going to go TRC's way on the position arrow. Hmm. So, Nero's coming out of the game. Coming into the game is going to be Michaela Simon Tucker. It's going to be TRC ball here, up by a lot. Now it's a man-to-man -man full court press. Here's Tesson. With your TRC here, you're probably going to want to, and that's that's a foul call. Wow, well, that's a foul on Jaya Senai. Hmm. Got go ball to me, but I don't wear the stripes. Thank goodness. If I wear the stripes, man, oh man, it's a tough job. Those guys, they they take it and they they do a good job. As Poo Tip going to the basket, can't hit the first one, second one, wild shot, no good. And then back the other way comes Chateau. Or no, excuse me, this is Tease. Let low, off the front iron, no good. Strong rebound there by Willa Thomas. She's double teamed, trying to get it to Araya. She does. Araya dribbles through everybody. Vukovic has Tesson wide open. There's Tesson. She's travel. Mm. Wow, Nick McCready underneath the referee calling a travel there. Lisa Tesson. She looked around and said, Who, me? Nick McCready said, Yes, you. <laughs> 825 left to go. 22 point lead. Alexander. Nice job to get it inside. Here's Senai. No. Rebound. And it's a good one by Poo Tip. She's triple team there. And another jump ball. This one's going to go to the father, John Redmond Redhawks. Nice defense there to swarm after that rebound. And those are the kind of plays that are going to get you back into the game. Because now, Jeremy Kaye says, enough is enough. I'm putting Demoa back in. And this is, again, Demoa has five steals. She has been a floor general out there as well coming into the game as Brianna Williams. And coming out is Maya Araya, Alexander, excuse me, Thomas, and Jada Poon Tip. And Clark coming out back into the game as well for the Wolfpack. Jeez, knocked away. Who else? Demoa. But this time she throws it off of the foot there of Tease, and it's going to be, or excuse me, she throws it away, and it's going to be Father Redmond Ball. Michaela Simon Tucker, looking for someone, Victoria Tease is going to tee it up for three, off the back iron, no good, Alexander with a good rebound, looked like she was hit, no call, gets it back again, and this time she's fouled, and the foul's going to go against Brianna Williams. So going to the line is going to be Michaela Simon Tucker. Forward, 5'11", 2020 is her graduating year. One team foul.
as we are back, and we apologize for technical difficulties here at the TR, the uh, Rise Center, and it's the Father Redmond, Father John Redmond Redhawks down 72 to 43 in the fourth quarter to the TRC Academy Women's Wolfpack, and we are back underway. It is 72 to 43, so this game pretty much out of hand here, but you got to give Father John Redmond credit for what we've seen as they just keep fighting and fighting, and you got to like the head coaching of Jason Edwards. Father John Redmond Redhawk still encouraging his ladies to keep her going. So here we go with the Rye up top with 2.30 to go. Story of the game pretty much has been the defense of the TRC women's Wolfpack and unable to hold on to the ball. A lot of turnovers for the Father John Redmond Redhawks here this evening. Here on OSBA TV, my name is Mike Carafalitas along with my Made man beside me, Yoren Kerbel, pr director, producer, doing it all here. I mean, getting everything back up, and we apologize again for the difficulties as it's inside, and that one's no good off of the off of Brianna Williams, and back the other way. He's let low. She's had a nice game. And still, Nick McCreary says, "No, you travel." And still, Jason Edwards still coaching. Still coaching, and Jeremy Kaye still coaching of the TRC Women's Wolfpack. And there's Araya with just over two to go in this in this game. Araya came over. She was one of the first ones that came over to the Guelph program, and she puts it off the glass for two. And the Guelph program, it did fold, and Maya Araya came over to the TRC Women's Wolfpack and has made an impact ever since she has come to this uh come to the this TRC program so time for Father John Redmond to finish this one off strong and Bouchard backing up in the three point line let low at the foul line that one a wild shot no good and I think that's what TRC wants is let low to shoot the ball from the outside here's Clark off the glass for two nice drive there They're able to blow by Emily Bouchard Here's Bouchard with the ball now. Senai, no good. Rebound, let low. That's where you want her, off the glass, and she can't put it in. Rebound by Jada Poon Tip. Williams, nice pass to Araya. Oh, kick it back out. Vukovic fakes the three. Now she'll go in with the scoop shot. Underneath for two. 78 to 43, just under a minute to go. So you want to finish off strong here, and now TRC Women's Wolfpack are going to get their third win of the year. And they're going to improve their record to 3-5 and five in the Women's East Western Conference. And in the Eastern Conference, the Father John Redmond Redhawks are going to fall to 2-7 and seven in 33 seconds. That's them. Hits the three. There you go. Something a little positive to get by going into the next game. What? Full marks the TRC today. Let's go into the basket. Clark. She stumbles and falls. Throw to Williams. Underneath. Can't get the roll. And 10 seconds left to go. Here's Bouchard on the run. Emily Bouchard wants to take the three. Lives it up. Here's a three ball on the way. Off the front iron. No good from Antia Terrell. And 5-5, 2020 with one second left. This is going to be the final inbound of the game for TRC. Three team fouls apiece. And head coach Jason Edwards not happy with referee Nick Mc McCready. But that's going to do it. Here from the Rye Center here in Brantford, Ontario. Final score 80 to 46 in favor of the TRC Women's Wolfpack. And again, the TRC Women's Wolfpack will improve their record to three and five and the in the Women's Western Conference and in the Eastern Conference. The Father John Redmond Redhawks are going to fall to two and seven. Full marks to both teams. They really uh, played played hard. Full marks to TRC. They played great defense. But it was the women's wolf pack a little bit too much for the father, John Redmond Redhawk. So that's going to do it from here. So for my main man, again, my partner, 
here, my producer, director, everything. He does everything. Yoram Kerbal. My name is Mike Carefalitas. Thanks for joining us here on OSBA TV, and we'll see you next time.